So 2001 Nissan Sentra 1.8. Uh, this is a coil on plug insulator. Comes with the top valve cover seal, the lower plug boot, and then the uh, spring connector for the end of the spark plug. Um, we're going to install this. First we're going to remove the old stuff off of our coal, if it's called a coal. Uh, there is a groove right here and the spark plug uh, coil pack o-ring should have a groove in it and you line those up and right here you'll see a, a lip a retainer spring if you will right there that's got to line up with the groove in this piece it helps to hold that boot in place. So we'll slip that off. And I'm kind of curious as to if this one's lined up. And it is not. So that may have been a part of our oil leak issue. So we've removed that. And notice how that came off. Came off like this. Uh, same thing for this. It just peels back and out of the way. Give it a little twist, a little pull. Off it comes. Notice inside the spring and its orientation. Take a very small pair of needle nose pliers. Just pull that right out. And that's how we will reinstall the one that comes out. Now the picture on the box... Um, is backwards. Now there's no way that that spring can be retained within the coil pack itself in that orientation. Uh, this is how it comes out of the car, but that's the way the picture is, and sometimes that's the way it is with pictures, but keep that in mind also. Now to reinstall that spring, We will use the needle nose pliers as well. Here's the package. Uh, and there's a small air hole in that package and I saw the spring inside and I thought, well, how, how does that spring stay in there? Um, it's taped to the boot. So that's how that stays in there. install the spring. That's probably the most difficult part of this whole process is getting the spring in. Like I say, it's taped to the boot. Alright, to put this in, take your tiny needle nose pliers I have done this with a 3 millimeter Allen wrench as well. And what you want to do is to hold the little tab that runs across the spring in the bottom. And you push that lower end of the spring into the bottom of the coil pack. Uh, right like this. Twist it just a little as you go in and then release. Okay. Now we're installed. See it doesn't fall out. Now, the next part, you'll put your new insulator seal on. Just press that right on, like so. We're installed. And then, again, uh, be mindful of this and the retainer spring up here on the end. And, let's see. Yeah, if you'll notice in the top of that O-ring, you'll see that groove that rides over that retainer spring. 
So you want to line that up. If you've got this uh, not aligned properly, that could be a source of oil leaks. So here we go, taking care to make sure that groove is aligned properly. Obviously, into the car. They do that in a separate video, but that's the installation of the boot seal kit. Thank you for watching.